Uh, all right, so as usual, this is uh, taking place like right after the Guild War. Um, just because it's like, if I'm in the mood to make a video, then it's like, you may as well do a couple. Um, so we're, here we are. Um, I don't know how many, I think I was inactive for a couple days, so I might have dropped like a few points, but I think you need 2,000 uh, to get up. So I think I need at least probably three. I think I'm getting like 20 per victory, if I'm not sure. So probably uh, two or three maybe will get us into champion if I win them anyway. Uh, so we're just going to hit him with this as we usually do. Okay. So usually, again, as always, my opener is going to be um, MLCC. Just follow my lead. MLCC's only weakness right now is basically just her. Um, and that's really just kind of, you don't have to worry about her if you just pre banner. Um, I can usually deal with everything else. Um, like, this isn't too bad uh, so far, anyway. Um, uh, what do I want to take into this? Unfortunately, she took the counter, the counter to counters, uh, so I can't bring Ram, um, I can't bring Violet or Ram into this, um, unless I'm, like, planning on banning the Landy, but, you know, I'll be fine. We're gonna actually bring you, and we're gonna bring, uh, where are you? I'm gonna bring you. So let's see how he responds. I think Ram is probably what he's gonna start, what he's gonna slam here. Um, if he doesn't take rem i might take rem and then see what like i, I want to see what the other two picks are we'll make a decision from there at this point um basically i just i think i just want like two more damage dealers um or maybe like i don't know we'll, we'll, like i said we'll see um okay so rb so basically one of our slots is taken up by um the name so we're taking you and we're taking um taking you so he's gonna pick a water here probably but i think i'll be fine like rem is probably what he's gonna take and i think i'll be fine if i just ban the rem uh, but if he doesn't take if he doesn't take rem i want to see what he takes because I just want to ban Crow and make everyone squishy. Because uh, the problem being is he's probably going to hit my... Um, he's probably going to ban this. And presumably you'll think I'll ban that. But I think most of these people won't be too bad again into the into the RB. Let's see what he picks here. And I'm not sure what is going on. Okay. So this unit is actually pretty annoying. So I think what I'm going to do is... Get rid of her and, and see how this works out. So I think we're oh we actually lost her okay. So I don't think we'll be too bad. Um, let's kind of see how this how this plays out. Okay, so he gets the S three off, which is fine. Um, one of the problems to me with like it's like so hard to just slam Landy these days because um, like she really needs a barrier because then this happens. Let's see if I can just let's see if I can even. Um... Oh, that's what happened. My G perg is like two twenty something. Um, I did not pay attention and realize and did not realize that. Um, I forgot that I have idols cheer on the. Uh, on this guy here, so that's what happened there. Okay, so we're going to let's just let's just chip away at her until she dies. Yeah, she's gonna die from this AOE. It's kind of weird that. Uh, they don't have MLCC's voice actor still. <laughs> I don't know. I think I mentioned that when I was talking about like how she's like the first ML that I got and she's still not there. Um, yeah, so he just left, right? So it, it's... I don't know why people keep doing it because, I, I mean, I always first pick uh, her, right? Um, and people just like, they keep taking... Like if you're going to take Landy, right? He had first two picks, so he picked Crow and Landy. If you're going to do that, take... 
um, ML Crozet or or just someone. If you're gonna if you if you if you want to run crowd with her all the time, bring him. I mean, it's a bad idea, right? But just bring him with uh, bring him with that um, what's it called that that barrier, the one that gives the barrier and the shield. She needs a shield. She needs to hide, or else she's gonna die. Um, even as tanky as that one was, or whatever. Even like my turn order got messed up, so I didn't get the attack buff, right? Um, and that's not even that's that's like my team, right? If I had like run Charlotte, she was just gonna die. Um, so it's kind of important to realize. So let's take, let's try this, and we'll try. Uh, where are you? Here you are. We'll try you. Okay. So the thing is, theoretically, this should open up, open us up to bring Rem and Violet. Um, so I want to see uh, what this, how they're gonna react. Um, theoretically, he has um, Mercedes up there in his picture, so Mercedes is probably gonna be a choice he's gonna bring. Um, Crozet and Mercedes is going to be pretty annoying to deal with, uh, but I don't think it'll be too bad. I think we'll be fine. Uh, slamming first pick Amelia seems kind of interesting to me. Um, so let's see what we can do here. Um... Okay, so he's probably going to pick two fires, right, theoretically? So what I want to do in this case is bring, um, where is she? Let's bring you, right? So I'm going to bring you and should I bring you? What should I bring? So if he's gonna bring fires, I need to threaten with water. So we're just gonna bring you, right? Is that worth? That seems like a bad idea, but I'm gonna bring her anyway. Okay, so he brought Violet, which is basically what we kind of thought was gonna happen. Um, so he's, I think what he's thinking now is he's just gonna ban the Landy, um, <clears throat> which isn't a bad choice. Okay, so he took that, which is fine. Um, we, I kind of figured he was like I said he, he was gonna either pick two fires or since I brought the water he brought a, a fire and the grass um let's bring you so we're just gonna take him uh, away because or I guess we could take him Nah, we're gonna take him away because he's gonna make her tankier, but that's not really that big a deal. Um, just because that's good. now this is his only damage, and she he, she's either gonna fuel uh, LR Crow, um, fuel her because she only AOE's, or um, yeah, okay. So we're fine either way. Now they don't have any they don't have any debuffs anyway, um, and we're just gonna keep slamming them with the S three. Now the S three is gonna proc Landy's whatever, but or um, her thing, but we still have two other damage dealers, so I think we'll be fine. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so Amelia went first. That means that Amelia is like what? I don't know how fast that Amelia is, actually, based on this, because, like, my Landy's first, and she's like 208. Crap, for some reason, I'm not sure why, I guess, yeah, that's kind of weird that you would do that. I'm not sure what the point on this move is. Because, I mean, this is probably going to happen. Or I guess maybe he wanted this, yeah, maybe. Um, so we're going to S3 her. Get rid of that uh, heal block. Not that the heal block is necessarily even a problem. Because uh, she always heals before she does anything. <clears throat> so she's going to S3? Oh, she S2. Very interesting. Okay, so here's more of this. Okay, so now we're gonna use you to do this. Okay. Okay, so she's gonna S2, I think. She should. Or S3, I mean. She's gonna S3. Okay, there we go. Which is good, because it's giving us buffs for uh, Landy. 
Um, let's see. Okay, so this is this is interesting. I think that's I didn't pay attention to her HP, but I think that's like a an all defense um, Mercedes. Okay, nothing proc, so we're good. Um. Yeah, we'll just hit him with this. Yeah, I do wonder. That's kind of interesting. Um, Magic for Friends procs. She doesn't have attack buffs, so she's only getting the one now. Okay. Okay. This is kind of fine. They're taking an insane amount of damage, and there's too many targets that they need to get rid of. So right now he's focusing on Rem. Um, all right, she's gonna she's gonna S two now. She can, um, which I think you should at this point. Not sure. I, I do feel like I have the advantage, but this could go south for me very quickly. Oh, very interesting. Um, that means that he's going to S3, which I think he should have given her the attack buff if she's going to S3, right? Because it's like, oh, oh, well, she's going to give herself attack buff, but that doesn't really matter, right? Like, you still want her doing, you still want her to do a lot of damage, which she's not going to do if you just took away her S3. And I didn't get stunned, so that's good. Um, let's just kill you because she's getting annoying. Okay, so there we go. That's kind of locked us into winning, I think. Let's hit you. Um, we're going to just keep poking away at him. So he's probably going to S1 her. But again, it's not that big a deal because now he has to switch over to Landy. And Landy's not a threat anymore. Because my bigger threats are, are, are these other two, right? Okay, so now I get to kill you. Oh, magic for friends goes off, so that's okay. Okay, so he's gonna kill her, which is fine. So, uh, let's see, let's do... Uh, let's just kill her. Okay, so she doesn't have attack buff anymore, she's gonna ask one, which... It's fine because now she's gonna S1 and she's gonna put her forward. Oh, she has S2 again. Ooh, that was bad. Oof. So we might, we're probably gonna lose this. I need to get a counter on this and I did not get the counter, which, okay, so hopefully we survive this. If not, then we lost. Um, so I guess the, that, yeah, she didn't miss. Um, so I guess the, um, the, ta the rotation he used her on was pretty decent. I don't think that's what won him. I think I just lost a bit of RNG here and there, but uh, I, I mean, of course I would say that, but um, yeah, that's, like I said, it happens. Um, we were basically, I mean, I feel like we we're in the best position, but somehow just stuff turned around. Um, yeah, that, that S2 did a lot of damage, a lot more damage than I kind of uh, anticipated it to. And I also want to mention the fact that like Rem did nothing again. Uh, for some reason, my ram doesn't do very much. She did. She did go off in the beginning. I, I will say uh, she did a, a couple of a uh, few attacks, but once the um, <laughs> once she had the demon mode, she just kind of decided that she didn't have to do anything. <laughs> um, does this is the same guy? I don't remember. I mean, he he's slamming her again. So I guess we're just gonna take uh, Landy and her. Uh, where is she? Her. Okay, so he went with her this time. I don't know if this is the same guy. I don't think it is, but... Okay. Hmm, Kitty Armin. If they pick Kitty Armin half the time, uh, chances are they're not going to pick... Um, any more defense like so I think I'm gonna leave the the violet open kind of bait him into picking it and if he doesn't pick it I'll probably I'll work on it as a last pick 
Um, but I really kind of want something else to deal with that, uh, with her. Um, well, right now I don't have to deal with her at all. I can just not, yeah, I can just not deal with her if I don't want to. Um... Actually, I'm curious. Let's let's try this. Uh, I'm probably gonna lose this, but right now these two S1s both have um, debuffs on them. So let's see if I can uh, see what we can do here. So he did take the ram, the violet, which is uh, expected. Um, and now he took that. So we're kind of stuck with banning this because we can't let that through. Um. I am going to do something I really is kind of messed up, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, do I want to do this? Yeah, SSB is too hard to like just leave her there and, and like try to pretend she doesn't exist. Um, so we're going to try this. We'll see what happens. Um, don't necessarily have high hopes, but um, you know, it's, it's, it's RTA. We'll see what happens. Because double ram, even with even with uh, violet here, double ram. Uh, du I mean, basically it's double ram, double ram or double SSB, whatever you want to look at it. Um, because taking his time. Ooh, that's very interesting. Drop the landy. Okay, let's see what let's see how this goes. Um, this is kind of funny though because. Oh, I actually, I think eh, Rem's fine where she is. Um, this is fun, kind of funny though because uh, the she was basically chosen to deal with the Landy, and if Landy's not there to be dealt with, I mean, you're kind of missing the point. I think he's gonna boost him. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see what he does. I, one time I forgot I think I forgot where I did it but I was playing something and I forgot to like because usually right he gets he s ones and then right after you're just kind of like you're just gonna um, like he gets hit and then whenever it's his turn he's usually been hit and he's countered so he's got two and then you apple and then you s3 and I was I forgot what I was doing where I like I just I let, you know apple s3 and I only had three stacks and I was like oh man my my whole thing is gone now <laughs> um, but yeah right, so let's see what kind of damage we're looking at here. This is kind of interesting though, because he, he's saving the soul burns, which I'm not entirely sure uh, who he's saving them for. Okay. Um, Kitty Armin is going to S3 everyone. Yeah, we're just going to let this rip. Oh my gosh, can you believe that? Look at that. Three thirty K HP on my uh on my MLCC. Now it's 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 only thirty K because of the imprint from uh from SSB, but still it's pretty I don't know, it's just I like it. It's satisfying. I do wonder though who you're supposed to kill who I would kill first in this situation, because I'm not entirely sure who I'd go with. Um, between SSB and, and Rem. Because Rem... I don't know. So she's going to probably kill Rem or something. Or hit some... Hit her or hit her. Like either way, I mean, that... that This um, skill nullifier didn't do very much because of this. Oop, there you go. Hit Rem. Uh, Amelia is going to boost up Violet, which is fine. Uh, Violet's going to hit... Or kill Rem, basically. She's just going to die. That's a 17k HP Violet, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so... Uh, see if we can um, provoke her. We could not, so 
She's got a decent amount of effect resistance. Okay, of course he resisted that. You guys are gonna see just how much my uh, Zerato resists everything. Um, it's actually pretty interesting. It's lovely to watch. Okay, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, I was gonna say, hopefully we get the S2 off before she dies. Uh, we didn't get the S3 off of SSB, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, so now he's just gonna focus her down and then focus him down. Um, he's gonna AoE, uh, oh no, I thought he was gonna heal. So let's see, he's probably gonna S3, but he probably won't just to not get Zerato, um, slamming. Okay, I don't know why he hit Zerato there. Uh, let's try to kill you. Okay. So, she's gonna hit her. Yep. Uh, she's an S2, S3. Okay, so we're all, we're all good here. Uh, well, I mean, we're not that good because Zerato's probably gonna die. Like, if... Let's see. Oh, okay, well, he has the S3. So, he's probably gonna one-shot Zerato, but I'm not sure. We'll find out. Um, the problem is that while most of these do have... Oh, now he's just trolling me because... I can't counter-attack if there's no, um... Debuffs, but he had the S3 there, which had no debuffs attached to it, and he still threw it at me. So, I don't know what that's about. Um, so I guess he's doing this now. Okay, so I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure what he's soul burning. I guess he's soul burning the S. I don't. <laughs> Does he want to see Zerato solo? I mean, is he is he trying to give me the like you know the satisfaction of getting to see this or what? What's going on? I guess he I guess he's just being a bro right now. <laughs> I think I'm still gonna lose though. Okay, so that's just that. It's just gonna hit me. Okay, so these two idiots are going to be locking each other all day, so... I don't know what's going on here, I don't know why he's doing this. I guess he doesn't want to get the burns on me, on him. But if I, every time I hit her, she's going to put a burn on me and I'm just going to throw it back. And then he's just doing this. I guess he's just waiting for uh, Zerato's HP to get low enough, or... Oh, he's waiting for the defense buff to come off. Which is fine, I guess. Uh, I really wish FCC would die, because... <laughs> Um, that way Kitty Armin can hit Zerato and then I'd get more counters, but I think I lost anyway, so I don't know. I mean, just kind of playing it out now just because uh, as long as you're giving out uh, free Zerato counters, I may as well take them. Ugh, it's disgusting. So I think what I should have... See, this is the problem. I took Zerato when I shouldn't have because uh, it let him pick... Um, it let him pick... What's her name? Um the it let him pick the um I can't remember what her name was um LQC so let him pick the LQC uh, and I think she, he's gonna die now which is fine why are you eating the apple well, I guess he doesn't want to miss the 15% crit um but yeah, like I picked uh, Caesar Auto too early because then it uh, basically gave him the power to to pick LQC, um, and she, and he's dead. Yeah, so that's kind of I guess that's what he was waiting for. He just didn't want to risk it. Um, so yeah, that was that was entirely my fault. Um, so it looks like we're not making champion today. I'm still probably gonna do one more. Yeah, we have. I think we have time for one more. Just throw one more in here. Please try again later. What does that mean? Oh, I. Well, I guess that's it for today then, because... Yeah, I guess that's it for today, because I can't do anything. Ugh, I hate when this happens. That's so irritating. Um, well, there you go. Uh, we didn't make it into... We actually, I think, yeah, I started off at 75, and <laughs> now we're at 65. Uh, 1965. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Um, oh, there, I guess now it's searching. Um, uh, maybe, hold on, let's see, yeah, okay, there we go, cool. So we'll get one more. Um, I would really like to get back to where we started, <laughs> but, um, uh, I think that might be more disappointing, the fact that we just went full circle and got nowhere. Um, so this guy didn't want to deal with new Angie. 
uh, and who does really uh, so we're taking it's interesting that people just take him so early but I don't know we'll, we'll find out what his strat is okay yeah Cesarado is like a last pick like the mega mega last pick um, let's take I'm taking Crow because Crow is gonna be funny um, let's take someone else who's good. It's like so hard to pick dark units these days, specifically just because, um, let's take you, uh, because, <laughs> um, LQC exists. Um, yeah, it's, it's really like anything that's not like an RB. Basically, it's hard to pick. I mean, obviously, RB or FCC is hard to pick, other, like, other dark units aside from them. Just because, you know, it's like, I'm just picking LQC and I'm just going to nuke them. Uh, like, I'm probably going to do right now. Um, I think I'm just going to nuke. Let's see. So, I brought LR Crow, uh, not necessarily because I thought he was going to have a lot of um, a lot of stuff. But I think I'm just going to bring, yeah, I'm going to bring LQC and then we're going to ban the um, U. Uh, where is well? Who, can, who else can I pick here? Yeah, I think we'll just go safe with the LQC. And we're gonna ban you. There's no reason to have a, an untargetable unit um, harassing us the way she does. Um, so yeah, we have we should have significant, not significant, but I mean is uh, we should have sufficient amount of um, of damage here. Uh, actually, we took first turn, which is kind of weird. Um, so basically, this is kind of a like what he's running is basically just protect the <laughs> protect the freaking uh, the Riolu comp here. But um, let's see who he kills. So he just he just doesn't want to deal with um, the Ram doing anything. Of course, now he's gonna S three, and then Ram's probably gonna AOE. Oh, I, no, he wasn't even going to do that. So I get this off. And that guy's basically almost dead. Well, that's a very squishy Tywin. Okay, so he's going to... He's just going to kill Rem. Okay, that's cool. Oh, so now Rem's dead. Um... She is going to heal Tywin, presumably? Yeah. So now I can uh, let the S3 rip onto uh, this guy here. She still does decent amount of damage on him, like even with, even through the, the even if she misses. Uh, but it's mainly just like the splash, right? Like that you want. So we're going to hit this on everyone. If we're allowed to, okay. Some serious lag there. Okay, so Riolu's dead, and obviously um, the A Tywin is not dead, which is the real problem because he's gonna S three now, or, or maybe not. I don't know what he's doing with this A Tywin because, okay, he, your S three is not gonna stun or slow uh, ML Crow or LQC, but like, I don't know. Yeah, she just brought him back. And he's gonna do what? S1, I guess her, maybe. Yeah, or him. I I can't even fathom. Like, I am sitting here thinking to myself that the LR Crow is a mistake because he has he doesn't have enough uh, AoE to make LR Crow really viable or worth using. Uh, but he's just like dumping damage into him. Oh my gosh. You see, like, <laughs> I keep missing crits. It's so sad. Uh, and then we get to just kit you. So now uh, Violet is going to S1 someone, which isn't that big a deal. Um, now he's going to S3 someone, which really is a big deal. But let's see who he hits with this. Okay, so basically he's almost dead. He hit Landy. So Landy's dead. Um, there's no two ways about it. But let's see. Uh, my Crow is still alive, and so is uh, her. Now... 
see. So here's that. He, my S3 is live on on her, so we'll see. Oh, he has life steal, so this is this is actually a lot trickier than. Oh, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. You're not surviving this, buddy. Sorry about that. So this is kind of what like this was saying like. Kral seemed like a mistake because I wasn't going to get another S3 off. Uh, so we ended up higher than we started, which is pretty good. Uh, <laughs> we didn't get challenged. We didn't get champion, but still. Um, but that was kind of the point I wanted to make was um, I felt like Kral was kind of a mistake, but he made it not a mistake by baiting himself into just attacking Kral because he really needed to kill her because um, the most of the damage that he was going to take was going to be from her. Even if she misses, she still does a significant amount of damage um, to him. Uh, the AoE, the S3 was mainly there to AoE because uh, he had the dark unit. But other than that, I mean, it's not that big a deal. Um, but yeah, so he really, like, getting rid of her was, was basically the right choice. And then he couldn't hit her because he had too much single target. What he needed to do, though, was AoE with Tywin to hit her and stun her so she didn't get enough. Like, she'd stop speed boosting me, basically. We were lapping him because of her. And, like, three of my units survived, so they just kept wiping units out because she kept lapping. Um, and sure like these two had immunity but like okay so if you you wanted to, the immunity to fall off and then you're gonna stun Krow and slow him but like who cares Krow's not S3ing anytime soon so the stun is just gonna wear off and he's just gonna go back to doing what he was doing anyway which is S1ing people uh, and then her at the time she wasn't that big a threat but as he started losing more and more units like right because she's only doing 25% of your team's damage because she's hitting one person at a time Land the other on the other hand was doing like AOE damage was like to everyone 100% of like your possible damage But as the thing dwindled down she's doing AOE damage to single or two or three units right and it's like that value goes down the less units you have and LQC goes up the other way um, But yeah, I, I don't know. I just feel like it was kind of a mistake the What he should have done was and I guess this is this is because no one really realizes it but my LQC is squishy as hell so that uh, Riolu should have just one shot her because he could have like if he had s3 would her he would have one shot her and he never hit her so he could have s1 her and realized that like it probably chunked her down to half health and he could just one shot her again and then just hit her again with the s1 and she would have died so um yeah i don't know why you would prioritize crow in that situation but that that's what lost him because he really should have just hit lqc um and my lqc like i said I, i've been meaning to like fix her since the beginning of time but <laughs> it is what it is uh, but if that S3 from the Riolu had hit, had hit her, she'd be dead, and we'd have a very different game uh, going. Because I wouldn't get the splash from this. Now, again, Ram is important to focus, but uh, sometimes she just doesn't do anything. So she could have he could have just killed her, and then focused on these two, and then Ram could have just like sat, sat on the back and done literally nothing like she's been doing uh, recently, I feel. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there you go. Uh, hopefully, uh, some stuff to be learned from here. Um... <laughs> the main lesson to be learned is uh, don't let uh, Spectre Tenebia through because she's kind of dumb. Um, which I still have to build mine. I'm still working on it, but, you know, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, tomorrow I'll probably have uh, more RTA, and hopefully we'll get into Champion by tomorrow. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, that, yep, that's it for today.